Okay, so the solution is the top right corner. So for this problem, um, we have a rod here that was this wheel. I, I calculated the angle. This is a tangent inverse. You got to be 35 degree. Convert AB 20 inch into 1.6667 feet just because the answer key is in feet per second. And AC, um, you can do a Pythagorean theorem. And 7, and then you calculate this uh, hypotenuse. You get AC, and it's going to be 1.0172 feet. Um, you also have it's given velocity, constant velocity is 25 inch per second of A moving to the right so in the I direction, and I convert it into feet per second to be 2.08333. And it asks for A, the angular velocity of the rod, so angular velocity omega, and it asks for B, the velocity of the end of the B of the rod, so the velocity at point P. So you're just going to go ahead and analyze the rotating vector. So from A to B, you're going to have RC equal to RA cross AC times EAC. And you take the derivative of V. B is going to be BA plus AC omega, which is what we're finding, and then EAC. So here, uh, there's another step we need to do. So we know this, you know VA, we know this, but we know AC, we're finding this omega, but we don't know anything about VC. This is where the trick comes in. So VC at this point uh, is going to be you're going to have the direction in this direction at, at this very moment. In the main region it just it cannot have any so the next moment is going to be something like this. But the, the point of point C is it cannot have any moments you're misleading. It cannot have any a component in this perpendicular direction because if it has any component in this direction, it's not going to be in contact with the pulley anymore. And that's, that's very counterintuitive technically because mg is this way. If it if this have any a velocity component in this direction, then it's crushing the pulley, which is also not something they assume to happen. And so the only direction for it to have to go is in this direction or this direction. And because the next moment, they're going to go this way, right? So uh, this one gets shorter, this one gets longer. And so just intuitively, it has to go this way just because of the name nature of the rotating vector that a is going this way so c has to go along a b that's for sure and the direction is going to be toward b and with that we can analyze this vc vc is going to be become um, eac so the magnitude of vc and then times EAC equal to then VA on uh, top here you just broke it down to component VA times I and plus AC times omega and then the direction of the omega remember the next moment is going to be like this see okay so this, that's the next moment so Gonna rotating this way, that's gonna be counterclockwise, so that's gonna be positive k cross with EAC. Yep. Now we have to break EAC down into cosi. So if you look at this, 
this is EAC from theta. You break it down into this component and this component. It's like a force vector, right? So you have EAC equal to the magnitude of EAC is one because it's a unit vector. So one m cosi cosine theta i and then plus psi theta j, right? This cosine is going to be the change in um, psi and then psi. The bottom is some psi is going to be the opposite psi. Okay, with that, you can copy this and bring it down here. Two, make it bigger. You see, to VAI plus AC omega K cross with this guy. Now we have VC cosine theta I plus VC sine theta J equal VAI AI <laughs> plus. AC omega and then cosine theta so now K cross with I use a circle I J K this way this way this way so K I the positive J plus AC omega and Theta. K cross J, K cross J is negative I. Negative I. Okay. So from this you can have two equation, one in the I direction, one in the J direction. In the I direction you have V C cos theta equal to V A in the I direction. Then negative A C term omega term theta in the j direction you have vc sine theta equal ac ten omega ten cosine theta in the j direction that's it yep now we have two equations and two unknowns so vc is one unknown and omega is the second unknown now we can go ahead and solve for them And then, so we're going to have VA minus AC times omega times sine theta over cosine theta. So I'm isolating this to be VC from the first equation, right? I'm isolating VC out. And I do the similar thing to this equation. And so I isolate VC out. It's going to be AC ten omega ten cosine theta divided by psi theta equal to this one is VC right so I set VC equal each other and the reason I do this is because my calculator can solve the system of this one equation quickly so we plug the number in VA is Remember. Okay, then AC time omega, AC is this number. Time omega. And then we copy this on the side too. The psi of 35 divided by cosine 35 equal to AC omega cosine 35 over psi 35. And then you plug in the calculator, you get omega is going to be equal to 
for you to get 1.1747. Okay, yeah, here we go. Right per second. So it's going to be that. This is for the first one. And then now we're going to know um, for B, we're going to know the velocity. B, right? So we simply do our B is our A cross um, AB ten EAB. And then um, it's like the first derivative. Is B A plus AB omega, which we knew. That's good. Cross with um, E. AB itself. Omega is um, in the in this direction, counterclockwise after H in the positive K direction. So we have this. So this one we're going to keep VB the same because VB is what we're trying to find. Right? So VA is going to be VA in the I direction. Because A is only moving in the horizontal direction, then A, B, um, omega, omega, we have a lot of omega, we have the K direction, K cross at B, so K cross, and then A, B is same as A, C, right here, they are in this direction, right? so we can also use this. Turn it here. And then we have VP, which is equal to, and I just plug everything in. So VA is this one. The I direction plus AB omega. AB. Time omega, we calculated omega in part A. Times, times, and then, okay, this is where it's a little tricky. So it's going to be cosine 35, right? 35, yes, and k cross i. K cross I is J. And then remember this is minus. Then K cross J is negative I. Yes, it's negative. <laughs> I theta, negative I. Okay, yeah, now we very much fully solve, right? We have all the number and broke it down to component. Two, three. I can turn it to be minus this theta thirty five by the way plus six seven so I'm gonna put one seven four seven times psi thirty five four point nine six zero three four in the I component. And then J component. Just sign. We have 1.6038 in the J component. Then now you want to know the magnitude to confirm that the answer key is going to be. Point A six nine three. This is two per second, I believe. Is that correct? Yeah, it is correct. Mm -hmm. And then the angle, which is tangent, it's going to be in x 
variable if you are changing of while back and it is inverse inverse the while back we have six minus a we find the nine sixty-four that should be nine for here it's seven degree that should be nine by one yep that's about right 